Call Lo, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the house of David, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. All right, now I brought this scripture out because you know. You know, uh, there'd there be times where, okay, you could, let's say you pray for sign and then, you know, it doesn't happen right away or anything like that, man. Don't, don't, don't think that the Lord didn't hear you, okay? Don't think that your prayers weren't heard or anything like that, you know what I mean? You just, you just, um, you know, the scripture said that the Lord's, his hand is not too short, they cannot save his ears, not too heavy, they cannot hear you. You know, he heard you, but you just got to be patient because the Lord does things in due time, you know? This is, um, this is, uh, let me get another scripture real quick. You know, because in Isaiah, it's Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, save the Lord. Okay, so the Lord does this, does things on his time, you know, when he sees the best fit. And when he sees the best fit is when it is best fit. Okay? And so you gotta you don't don't feel like the Lord didn't hear you, man. Cause like, hey, there be there be times where let's say you, you're confused about something, like you don't understand certain scriptures, something like that. You know, and then out of nowhere, you just see a, a, a video, you know, on, on that specific, you know, uh, uh, scripture, you know, or you could be going through something and then out of nowhere, you just see videos on the exact thing going through, you know, that will help you out. That's the Lord doing that, you know, because <clears throat> I remember one time, man, I had to, um, I had to, you know, get the breakdown of, of Daniel, you know, uh, about the statue and all that stuff. And I was, I was, you know, I didn't understand that. I was like, yo, damn, how am I going to do this, man? You know, and so I prayed to the Lord, you know, and I was just like, I, I didn't, I didn't know how I was going to get it, you know, and um, basically, I, I, uh, I was watching the videos, the London Brothers, I saw a, a video, it was, it was random, I just randomly clicked it, it was like, it was something about the black woman or whatever, you know, and then they were doing a video on it, and then out of nowhere, uh, the brother, uh, Rakaya Kwam, he just, he just um, uh, pulls out the, 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 the poster, you know, of the, of the statue, and he starts breaking it down to, like, one of the dudes that was over there. And I'm like, oh, shoot, call a lawyer. How about Shamel Shai, man? Because I, <laughs> when I was watching in the back of my head, I was like, yo, what about, like, like, how about, how about going to get the breakdown of the scripture, man? Like, damn, but I wasn't stressed, you know? I was, I was just like, all right, it'll happen when it happens, you know? And the Lord had it to where, randomly, I clicked that video, which the topic didn't even, the topic of the video didn't even have anything to do with Daniel, you know? But they, but, but, you know, the spirit had it to where that's, that it came out, you know? And I was able to get the breakdown of it. And I was like, oh, shoot, that's what's up, man. You know, the water, how about Shamel Shai, man? But that, that goes to show the Lord's ears ain't too, too heavy to hear, you know? You know, he does, he does everything. You know, like I remember when I, when I also, when I first came in, man, the Sabbath, you know, I, I like, I didn't really know anything about how to keep the Sabbath, you know? So I was like, hey, man, <laughs> I was, you know, basically being over righteous just so that I wouldn't, you know, go off, you know? And then, um, I came across, like I turned on uh, my phone, I went on YouTube and I just came across like five different videos on my recommended video section on the Sabbath, like what you're supposed to do and stuff like that, you know? And then, and, 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 and some of the videos is like brothers be outside teaching. And then you have somebody come up and ask questions about it. And then the, the same questions they asking were the same questions I had, you know? And so they were answering, I was like, oh shoot, yeah, that was the spirit, man. Okay, that was the Lord doing that. You know, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord was you know, helping me out, you know? And then it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's certain things like that. You know, for example, let's let's say you could you stressed out about something, right? You don't you don't know what you like. You you need a solution by, by today, by tomorrow. You know, like you're stressed, you don't know what to do. You know, and then you pray. Let's say have you, you pray in the afternoon or whatever. You pray to the Lord, help me out, give me a solution. What am I gonna do? You know, and then no, no, nothing happens. You know, and you you feel like don't don't feel like the Lord ain't hear you. You know, just be patient, okay? Cause cause um, let me get this scripture real quick. You know, you could you could be going to sleep thinking, yo, you know what? Uh, tomorrow I'm just wake up. I'm gonna do this, this, and that. Maybe maybe that'll fix it. You know, maybe that could you know fix my problem or whatever. You know what I mean? But this is Job chapter 33 verse 16 it says it says um, I'll start at 15 in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction okay and so the Lord hey man that look have it to where you going to sleep thinking yo you know what 
So I don't, I, I'm just, I'm just do this, this, that tomorrow. Maybe that'll fix my, my problem. That'll be a solution. Lord be like, no, 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 you're going to do this tomorrow, you know? And so he just, he just turns your whole plans upside down. But guess what? You wake up tomorrow with the solution to your problem in your mind. You're like, oh shoot, I could do this instead, you know? But that's the Lord doing that. You know, so you pray in the afternoon, you probably feeling like, yo, damn, I didn't get a solution. Damn, I'm about to go to sleep. What am I going to do tomorrow? Hey, the Lord had it to where he, he helped you out, man. You know, it's because he said his ears ain't too too heavy to to, 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 to hear. So you just got to have that faith that, hey, regardless of when it happens, it's going to happen. And when it does happen, will be the best time for it to happen. You know, because, uh, you know, like, that's just the way it is. And also, like, you know, um, you know, if you have a problem or whatever, like pray and like you could talk you know seek advice from the brothers too you know because sometimes man the lord speaks to the lord can speak to you through your brothers you know because brothers are here to help you out man you know give you counsel and all that okay because hey man that that that, that could happen you know like i i, I did i do that majority of the time like if, I, if i'm confused by something you know i pray to the lord but i, I talk to the brothers and they'll like hey man they'll they'll give me like the perfect solution for it man the perfect answer you know, and usually before I, before I talk to him, I pray to the Lord that he speaks through them or, or, you know, whatever they say is basically what he's trying to tell me, you know, and I'll get it. And I'll think about it like, damn, this is, I didn't even think about this, you know, this is a, a real good advice. Okay. But Hey, the Lord, the Lord does stuff like that, you know, and the Lord, the Lord, um, you know, he also, he also speaks to you through, uh, speaks to you through signs. Okay. The Lord, the Lord shows you signs to, to help you out with certain things. Cause I remember when I first came to this truth last summer, you know, last year in like around uh, July, um, I was, um, <clears throat> I had practice, you know, I had practice and, and um, you know, I didn't really want to go that day, you know, but I was like, you know what, I, uh, I was talking to one of my friends in the world, you know, he was like, uh, yeah, 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 just come, come, man, it's practice, man, you need to practice all that stuff. So I prayed to the Lord, and I was like, I asked the Lord, man, should I go or not, you know? And, um, you know, before I left, I was hoping that practice would be uh, canceled, you know, and that would be the Lord basically telling me like, yeah, 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 don't go, you know, speaking to me or whatever. But practice wasn't canceled. So basically I left, I got on the bus and the bus was supposed to take me straight there. You know, the bus, like it go, it's la the last stop of the bus is where I got practice at. So I swiped the Metro and I looked, you know, cause I, it tells you the balance or whatever. You know, I had, I could have, I had about two rides on there, you know, two rides left. So I swiped and I, I sat on the bus. I was listening to the videos of the brothers and stuff like that, you know, uh, getting fed through the spirit. And then out of nowhere, the bus stops. And then the, the driver, the, the bus driver's like, this is the last stop, you know? Uh, uh, I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold up. The, this is like, cause that stop was not the last stop. That was like the middle, you know? They had like I had another halfway to go, but it just stopped. And I, then my first thought was like, whoa, shoot, is that the Lord? Is that the Lord telling me to just, just turn around and go back home? Maybe, maybe. You know, maybe I'm not supposed to have practice today, you know, but then I was like, all right, cool. So I, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I called my friend. I was like, yo, bro, you know, because at the time I didn't, you know, I didn't really know much about the truth or whatever. I was like, yo, bro, I think the Lord is like, you know, show me not to put lots of cover practice or whatever. He's like, man, what are you talking about, man? Just come to practice or whatever. You know how the people in the world are, man, faithless. So I, <clears throat> I was like, all right, I guess tell you what, I'm going to go to the train station right that, that 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 goes straight to the park and then i'm gonna swipe now if if i'm able to get through you know then hey that's the lord like ah you could go to practice if i'm not able to get through the lord's like no 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 you're not going to practice today so that was my mindset i was like i pray to the lord to speak to me that way you know show me the, the path to go so i get to the train station i swipe the first time it doesn't go through i swipe again it doesn't go through i'm like yo what's going on i, I had like two rides on this thing you're talking about my metro card was was it had ins insufficient fare you know, and that was weird. But I was like, yo, that's a sign from the Lord, man. I'm like, all right, that's it. That's it. I'm going home, man. <laughs> I you know, I'm going home. I'm not going to practice. Something bad might happen. You know, and so I, I turned around. I, I talked to, you know, I was like, I called him again. I was like, yo, 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 bro, I'm not I'm not coming to practice. But he was like, he was upset or whatever. I was like, right, I don't care, bro. The Lord just showed me a sign. I'm going, you know, I had that that faith, that trust. I was like, I'm, I'm going home. So my Metro car wasn't working, but I, I got on the bus. You know, and then uh, before I got on, I asked the bus driver, man, please get a ride. And it was weird because he turned around, looked me in the eye. He was like, yes, you can get a ride. 
you know and that's weird because them bus drivers around that area they don't talk you know but 99% of the time they're gonna reject you and kick you off the bus and on top of that if they do let you on the bus they're just quiet you know they just ignore you and let you go this one he turned around looked at me talking about yes you may get a ride you know and I was like oh shoot man hey the size is going up man size switch is going up so I just got on the bus I thank the Lord kept listening to the videos and I came home you know to find out that I had like uh, you know right when I got home my stomach started bothering me I had like a like some diarrhea type thing you know I was like damn man so if I had gone to practice man you know running track and all that I would have been stressed over there you know because I was like how was I supposed to get home in town you know but that was the spirit of the Lord you know I mean I trusted in that you know and the Lord the Lord you know basically helped me out you know so hey man like you know the Lord you know the Lord his, his, his hands ain't too short to save his ears ain't too heavy to hear man you know the Lord does things in due season so you gotta you know always gotta be patient and have faith that he's gonna do it okay don't think that the Lord didn't hear you man the Lord hears everything okay the creator of all man he hears everything you know especially especially his 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 his, his children out here man who are sighing and crying he's gonna hear us man okay but you know I hope that video was edifying unto the elect you know the house of David go low your how about Shimmel Shai Shalom